Hello everyone, this is Pushpa. Today I am going to deal with a concept pair of linear equations in two variables. In this heading only we come across several words like variables, equations, linear equations and a pair of linear equations. So before entering into this concept, let us deal with these words. So first we move to variables. Variables means a quantity which during a calculation is assumed to vary in values. So this definition I explain by taking an example y is equal to 2x plus 3. I am going to assume the x value as 0, 1 and 2. So those assumed values I will substitute in the equation y is equal to 2x plus 3. When I substituted that x is equal to 0, 1 and 2 in this equation, I will get y value as 3, y value as 5 and y value as 7. So see here as x varies, y also varies. As y varies, x also varies. So here y and x are the varying things in the example so those varying things are nothing but variables next move to the definition equation equation is a statement that asserts the equality of two expressions let us take an example x plus 2 y is this an equation no it is not an equation because there is no equality sign there Again go to second example x plus 2y equal to 0. This is an equation because there is an equality sign here. Solving an equation containing variables consists of determining which values of the variables makes the equality true. If equality true means LHS should be equals to RHS. When we are solving an equation, linear equation, first we have to find the roots. When again we have to substitute that roots back into that equation and that time the LHS should be equal to RHS then only a solving of the equation is possible. Move to a linear equation. An equation containing variables whose highest degree of the variable is 1. For example y is equal to 4x plus 3. Degree is nothing but power of a variable. See here power of y is 1 so degree of the y is 1 here power of the x is 1 so degree of the x is 1 here so this is a linear equation because highest degree of the variable in this example is 1 so this is a linear equation let us come to a one more different example x square plus y is equal to 0 the highest degree means see here degree of the x is 2 here degree of y is 1 here the highest degree of the variable here is 2 so that is not equal to 1 if it is 1 then only it's a linear equation but here the highest degree is 2 so this is not a linear equation again come to a one more example that is x plus y cube is equal to 2 here the highest degree of the variable is 3 so this is also not a linear equation the linear equation can be written in the form of ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 where a b and c are the real numbers and a and b not equal to 0 this is a condition of a gen in the general form of a linear equation if a and b equal to 0 what will happen means see here in this general form if a and b equal to 0 then we left with c is equal to 0 so c is equal to 0 can be written as c into 1 is equal to 0 that 1 can be written as x power 0 y power 0 anything to the power 0 can be written as 1 right so i wrote in place of 1 is equal to x is equal to x power 0 y power 0 so here the degree of x is 0 degree of y is also 0 the degree of the variable is not equal to 1 so this is this will not become a linear equation therefore the condition to be a and b are not equal to 0 then only it is a linear equation next move to a one more definition pair of linear equations the two linear equations are in the same two variables x and y then equation of these are called pair of linear equation 
as I explained the linear equation definition here similarly I took the linear equation in terms of x and y similarly you have to consider one more linear equation in terms of a x and y variables then those two equations are nothing but a linear pair of linear equations the general form for a pair of linear equation in two variables x and y is taken as a1x plus b1y plus c1 is equal to 0 a2x plus b2y plus c2 is equal to 0 where a1 b1 c1 a2 b2 and c2 are all real numbers and a1 a2 b1 b2 are not equal to 0 if they are equal to 0 as i explained earlier again the degree of the variables equal to 0 then that will not become a linear equations so let us take an example 2x plus 3y is equal to 4 3x plus 4y equal to 6 when you take this 4 here it will become minus 4 equal to 0 when you take this 6 here it will become minus 6 is equal to 0 so compare these two linear equations with the general form of a pair of linear equations so this is of the form a1 into x this is of the form 2 into x so in place of a1 2 is there therefore a1 value is 2 b1 into y in place of b1 3 is there so therefore b1 value is 3 in place of c1 minus 4 is there therefore c1 is minus 4 in place of a2 3 is there in place of b2 4 is there in place of c2 minus 6 is there this is how we are going to find a1 b1 c1 a2 b2 c2 some of the node points were here see the solution of the equation is nothing but a root of the equation 4x plus 3 is equal to 0 4x is equal to minus 3 x is equal because when this 3 comes here it will become minus 3 x is equal to minus 3 divided by 4 so this is a root of a equation this root of the equation is also a solution of a equation because when you substitute this x value here you will get this lhs is equal to rhs therefore that is a solution see the linear equation gives rise to a straight line when we plot the graph we are taking a linear equation uh, and for that linear equation we are going to assume the points like 0 1 2 as we did earlier when i explaining the variables if for this that those x values you will get y values when you plotted these points in a graph you will get a straight line for linear pair of equations we will get two straight lines so for one linear equation we will get one straight line for two linear pair of equations we will get two straight lines so those are the noted points so when we plot the graph for a pair of linear equations the following three possibilities can happen when we are plotting those equations uh, in the graph we will get three possibilities means three possibilities of lines will come the two lines will intersect at one point see see the figure one the two lines are intersected at a point one the two lines will not intersect that is they are parallel the two lines will not intersect those are parallel as shown in the figure 2 the two lines will be coincident coincident means one line lie on the other line okay so as shown in figure 3 when these three possibilities will happen means if a1 by a2 not equal to b1 by b2 then those two lines will intersect at a point when a1 by a2 equal to b1 by b2 and that not equals to c1 by c2 then those two lines are parallel if a1 by a2 equals to b1 by b2 equals to c1 by c2 then those two lines are coincident here i consider three examples see here this is an example one example two and example three in these examples i'm going to find a1 a2 b1 b2 c1 and c2 and i'm going to check these conditions whether the, these equations satisfying the conditions or not if, which conditions they will satisfy see a1 is equal to 1 here b1 is minus 2 c1 is not there so i consider c1 as 0 in the example 1 a1 is 3 b2 is 4 c2 is minus 20 so when i did a1 by a2 i will get that value as 1 by 3 b1 by b2 is equal to minus 1 by 2 c1 by c2 is 0 a1 by a2 not equal to b1 by b2 then we will get a intersecting lines at a point so when we plot a graph by taking these linear pair of equations then we will get a graph like this as shown in the figure again going to, again i will go move to a second example a1 as 2 b1 as 3 c1 as minus 9 
a to s four, b to s six, and c to s minus eighteen. So a one by a two is equal to one by two, b one by b two is equal to one by two, c one by c two is equal to one by two. Then I will get a one by a two is equal to b one by b two is equal to c one by c two. This is a condition for coincident line. So by taking these linear pair of equation, when I plot a graph, I get a graph like coincident lines. Similarly, move to example three. In this example three, a one is one. A b one is two, c one is minus four, a two is two, b two is four, c two is minus twelve. See here, a one by a two equal to one by two b one by b two equals to one by two, c one by c two equals to one by three. So a one by a two equals to b one by b two, b one by b two not equals to c one by c two. So this is a condition for parallel lines. By taking these two equation, when we plot a graph, we will get a graph like a parallel lines. So this is the introductory part of a pair of linear equations in two variables. If you like this introductory part, please subscribe to our channel.